Hey everyone, welcome to our Pure Convergence and as we start, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the time that you have given us. Thank you because you are always here, guiding us in our lives. Guide us, Lord, as you continue to live for your glory, O oh God. We pray that your presence will be upon us, O oh God. Forgive us of our sins and teach us, Lord, to love you, Father, with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, O oh God. Let your presence be upon us and let your joy be our joy, Father. Thank you for all the things that you have done. And we allow your spirit to move in us, O oh God. Sustain pray with the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen.
This day is found in the book of James, chapter 5, verses 13 to 17. It says, There is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them in oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain it. It did not rain in the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed and the heavens gave rain and the earth produced its crops. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, you colored magatag your guidance. Someone Lord, as we listen to your word, O God, let your voice be heard. Rebuke us, Lord, if there are any unworthy spirit in our heart right now. Take us, O God, into our knees, Father, and help us to intercede for your will, O God. Let your presence be our joy, Father God, in serving you, Lord. Let your um, love, Lord, be upon us. In Jesus' name we pray with the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. So, um, 
na prayer convergence, you are reminded of um, things that we should always um, apply prayer. First is, is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. So, um, can you imagine in, in a situation, and I believe that most of us, our response when we are in trouble nang, is to pray. Um, sometimes, the enemy will condemn us nga, gapray lang ta, when we, we are attacking ng land kay God, but it is not something nga, ginatik against the Lord sa atin. But it's, it is actually His command. We, uh, that when we are in trouble, let us pray. Let us, before we panic, before we ask for advice from other people, before we jump into conclusions, before we become emotional, when we are in trouble, we are um, invited to pray. We are invited to listen to God, to spend time in His presence, because um, it will spare us of many hurts, spare us of many of many unnecessary wounds that will be attained if in it the mamati kay Lord. So we are here, Gedya, to pray if ever we are in trouble. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. So since sa ninyo kalibutan, no, when people are happy, they go to clubs, they party, they drink, they um, they celebrate, and it, there's nothing wrong about it. But um, God is telling us to sing praise, to not forget Him, because I have read uh, a verse in Deuteronomy which says that let's not forget God when we are in abundance. Let's not forget that it is all these things came from Him. All these things um, um, is a gift from the Lord. And it is not something that we can call our, our own because it is Him who gives it. And it, if it is nang difficult to trust on God during difficult times, actually, it's difficult as well to trust God when things are well and fine. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them in oil in the name of the Lord. In the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. So first, we pray when you are in trouble. We sing songs when you are happy. And third, when we are sick, I believe nga ang sickness na sometimes is caused by sin and it is the Lord who, to, who told everyone kung mag-heal siya ng wala siya gambal na nga you are healed but He told the people your sins are forgiven. So, um, root cause of sin is sometimes, root cause of disease is sometimes sin. But there are certain sicknesses that are not caused by the sin of our parents or the sin of the person, but it is for the for to bring glory to the Lord. So, habay pa nga, um, it's not just ng, it's not allow ourselves yung madilaan hope kay Lord, whether in our sicknesses, you know, and in terms of our, of our health, God um, cares for our health, good, and wellness. And therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other that you may be healed. So, um, we need to confess our sins to our, our people for us to be healed, for us to experience um, healing ni God. I believe that this healing is not just physical, but emotional and spiritual. There is blessing in confession, Gidya. Because in confession, mayroon ni isa ka, statement that says, sin grows in darkness, grows best in the dark. So, unless we put it into light, when we expose it, it will surely have a power, a grip on every one of us. So, let's come to come normalize it, to confess our sins to each other, so that um, we may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. I believe nga God is no pleaser of men, man, and He has His purpose and plans na ma-establish, Gidya. But God is telling us to have a righteous heart, have a selfless heart, because He Lord, He will not grant our desires, our, con- our requests, our petitions, if we're asking it out of selfish motives. So, Rabbi, pa nga, as we pray, let's assess our motives, assess ourselves, and if there is something that is not right before God, let's ask for forgiveness. Because um, it's not just about the willingness that counts, but it is also about the heart that asks. Now, there is one um, scenario we're in, a person was so amazed about how the apostles have um, delivered a woman from a certain spirit, and he is willing to pay for that spirit, for that power. But the apostles rebuked 
him that it is not um, by money that you can receive those power, but it is only through Christ. So, kabay pa nga, lang siya pag obrahon out of none things or none less, uh, nonsense things what it is give ya from the Lord. Elijah was a human being even as we are. So, sometimes, no, we tend to think nga ang mapray lang dapat pastors, ang mapray lang are the people who are spiritually um, very anointed sa prayer. But, as human beings, God is giving us an a privilege and opportunity to pray even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed and the heavens gave rain and the earth produced its crops. So there are miracles when we pray. Um, miracles will not happen if we are just silent about it. If we are not going to confess it, we are not going to declare it, not going to send it to God, nothing will happen, Gidea. So as we continue, as we come into prayer, no, let's not forget nga, a prayer is such as something, such as a routine, but it's a privilege get given by the Lord for His people to come and gather and to experience the goodness of the Lord. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, let your presence be upon us. God, thank you, God, for the chance to pray, privileges, and the benefits that we enjoy in prayer, O God. Let your presence be upon us. Overwhelm, um, overwhelm us, Lord, of your presence, Lord, your joy, kabay pagad that we will honor you in our lives, good Father. Thank you for all the things that you have done. This is me praying with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Okay. Heavenly Father, I pray for everyone, Lord, na nag-attend sa sini, Lord, na prayer convergence. I believe that you have heard our prayer concerns and petitions. I ask, Lord, for a favor and um, let your blessing be upon us, so God. Let your goodness, Lord, um, pave the way for every one of us, so God. Thank you for your forgiveness, for your love, for the grace that you have been giving us, for the mercy, Lord. Thank you very much. And I pray for blessing for us among your pastor, Pastor Lovell and his family. For the whole bit of church and the whole body of guys, let your joy um, be our reason, O oh God, be our strength, O oh God. Let your goodness, Lord, nang guide us to your truth, Father, and let your kindness lead us to repentance, O oh God. Please see me praying with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless us all and hope to see you next Thursday.